Hey everyone, Hedgedog here. So I've been kind of uh, wandering around uh, all sorts of uh, Facebook groups uh, regarding Cobalt Space Program, kind of uh, looking to reach out to the community and kind of see what's going on. And this guy, Jason, had a pretty cool idea to start kind of like a multiplayer campaign thing um, where we use BD Armory and a whole bunch of other mods and we do a war type scenario and he was wondering if anybody would be interested in this and I said you know what that's that's interesting I've, I've heard a lot about BD Armory and I've never actually done anything with it and I figured yeah this this could be a good idea and you know what <laughs> I think it is um, so this is going to be uh, several parts um, like the series thing and everybody is just going to take a turn so we're gonna take the single save file we're three people uh, it's uh, myself uh, Jason and Steven and all three of us are just gonna be taking turns and setting up and attacking each other and then uh, just bundling up the save file and shipping it over to the next person and everybody takes their turn that way we have a whole bunch of rules in place um, like a funds cap per turn and kind of how you're supposed to be uh, acting in each turn. We haven't really worked out all the details just yet, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. So right now this is just setting up. We've already established bases. Um, this is one of mine. Uh, it's actually the biggest one in uh, Kerbal Foundries. So um, uh, I'm sorry, Kerbal Constructs. Uh, this is one of the only only uh, bases that has a launch pad and a helipad and a runway so that was a great find for me I'm not sure why anybody else didn't take it but hey I got it so uh, right now just setting up we've already captured our bases we got four bases each I'm gonna be sticking this badass little thing uh, to defend this base I hope it's going to be good let's enable radar and we're going to enable uh, no where is that oh there it is BD Armory uh, guard mode. There we go. So this thing is just going to sit here gathering sunlight so it doesn't run out of electricity. And yeah, it's just going to be sitting here for forever until somebody decides to attack it. It's got a bunch of missiles. It's got this great cannon. Um, should be a pretty good defense. I've already seen that if you fly high enough, it can't see you. You can pretty easily bomb this thing. But we're just getting started. I don't expect anybody to be attacking any of my bases just yet. So for now, I'm just going to be sticking this here. And yeah, I guess there isn't too much to do. So I'm going to be sticking a bunch of these uh, all around my bases. And next time, I guess we'll do something interesting. Um, yeah, I already have a few things planned. And I'm testing out BD Armory. I've never used it before. This is the first time I'm using it and I don't really know how everything works and I hope I don't get completely destroyed really quickly but we'll see how this goes hopefully we'll have fun hopefully you'll be there with me if you have any suggestions any ideas of what I should do if you see something completely horribly wrong with this design that's sitting right here let me know in the comments hopefully this will be interesting and fun for all of us so without further ado let's get started with World War K Okay, so I was just going to end the episode there, but apparently one of the guys made a mistake. So um, I was just about to place all my defensive platforms and all my bases, and it turns out that uh, US Rock, that's Jason, he placed one of his defensive platforms in the wrong base. So instead of just kind of deleting his platform and then just placing mine there, I figured, hey, let's test out this awesome F-18 replica that I built that's fully armed. And I've tested it before on my platform, but I guess this would be the perfect opportunity to see how it fares against his defensive platform. And that could be really interesting. Uh, it's not too far away from here. So I guess I'll just fly there and see what happens. I'll try to take it out. And okay, it's the runway. Now let's see 
where I'm supposed to go. I'm not sure. Okay, target is over here. Alright, so where am I going? Wrong way, apparently. Get some altitude. This thing sometimes flies really well and sometimes flies really, really poorly. I'm not sure why. Well, let's see how it feels. Wait, is that? Alright, here we go. Okay, so that's pretty much my heading now. Alright, so I guess I'm pretty much going to fast forward now because this is going to be super, super tedious. Uh, it's 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 going to take a little while. Okay, see you when I get there. Oh, I just noticed that I took one of the default pilots. He's not actually mine. Um, well, I guess that would be fitting. Because uh, he's going to be destroying one of his own platforms. He knows where the weak points are. The weak points are, I hope will be revealed when I throw a bomb on it. That's that's my that's my hope. Okay. Maverick is a kind of missile that needs laser guidance, so I need to stick the pointer at it at all times. Right, let's zoom in as much as I can. Be able to refine the target when I can see it. Is that oh I think that's it. Right there. Yep, looks like it might be the target. Right there, okay, perfect. Okay, I got the lock. Do, do I have a lock? I'm not sure. Alright, let's fire a missile. Let's do another one. Alright, here we go. We're both going down towards the target. Let's see how they do. Keep my altitude, just in case this thing decides to engage me. Oh man, I really hope that's a target. I'm actually not sure it is. Nope, I don't think that was a target. Oh, there it is. Right there. Ah, crud, now I gotta turn around. Oh well, that's okay. Because now I know what I'm looking for. And I'm locked to it, on it, so... Should be pretty good. Still have two missiles. So, let's just disengage and turn around and re-engage. Should be easy enough. Okay, ready for the next attack run? really need to make sure that I'm actually targeting what I need to be targeting. I think I'll go with just one missile this time. Just to be on the safe side. I guess I need to fire again. How's it looking? Make sure I see the target. Definitely do not see the target. Oh, there it is, there it is, on the roof. On the roof? Alright. Let's take out the roof. Yeah, that's definitely the target. Okay, fire away. That was about as late as I could fire this missile, I think. Oh no! The gimbal! I don't know. Did I hit it? I have no idea. Ah, oh, nuts. I don't know if I hit it. I think I might have been too far away. Yeah, I want to take a closer look. I'm kind of scared too. Let's do one more run just to be safe. Still have one more missile. Fired it pretty late, so it's possible that just the missile couldn't change its trajectory in time. Okay. There we go. Let's get down a bit. Let's kind of lower my altitude just a bit. Probably not the safest thing to do, but I really want to get this.
All right, here we go. As soon as I see it, all right, fire away. Come on, Maverick, your magic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kaboom! I think that was a direct hit. That looked like a direct hit. Awesome. I don't know if it fragmented or what. But let's try to land. This technically I think it's our base now. Yeah, I think that's just debris over there. Great. Oh! <laughs> I overstressed. No. <laughs> I'm still flying. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Um. Somehow this thing is still flying. Um. Let's cut power to the engines. And fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically this guy isn't mine, but let's pretend he is. And fortunately, I've included a little safety feature on my plane. Um, I have an ejection seat. So, yeah, it's actually really, really unsafe to <laughs> eject at supersonic speeds, like right now. Also heading towards the ground. Also, I'm upside down. So, that not good. Yeah, this is about the worst thing anybody could do. Um, yeah, let's eject before anything else goes wrong. G limit, but you're good. Let's hope the plane doesn't crash into you. Where is it? Where is it? Here's the plane. All right, plane's dead and Whew. pilot survived, probably. 20 kilometers from base, but it's not too bad. Easily send out something to pick him up. Great! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> ah, Alright, we're good. We're good. Let's go see the wreckage. Okay, it looks pretty messy over here. Uh, I'm not sure how he got up there. He probably used the vessel mover. I think I'll use it too, just to take a sneak peek of what's going on over there. I think I won't be using it though. I'll just stick my platform uh, down here somewhere. So these, um, these crate things, uh, containers, are what I initially thought was the target so obviously not the target and all right so I'm good let's light this baby up verify on the right team good guard menu is on sweet okay so let's EVA and then let's just this will move me over there. Just so I can see. What? Wait, 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 wait. Looks like... Oh, it did not survive. Perfect. Look at this thing. Man, who built this thing? It looks like somebody, you know, threw a bomb at it. <laughs> Uh, poor guy. Yeah, this thing is destroyed. Perfect. Nice shot. Should be able to recover this and take the funds for myself. Nah. Just leave this here as a memorial to what could happen if you mess with UHDF, with the United Hedgehog Federation. Alright, I'll catch you in the next one.